Actually, we're going to go to that breaking news update on the murder of the U of C grad student. Here, I believe, Superintendent David Brown uh, briefing the press right now. Let's listen in. Student Xiaojian Zing. Murder of Mr. Zing has touched many members of the University of Chicago, the High Park community, as well as all of Chicago. So his friends and family will forever mourn his loss. We hope it brings to them some sense of peace knowing that this offender will face justice. Alton Spann, S-P-A-N-N, Alton, A-L-T-O-N, Spann, S-P-A-N-N, uh, black male, 18 years old, is being charged with first degree murder armed robbery, and two counts of unlawful use of a weapon. Our detectives are continuing to work these ca this case, uh, so we continue uh, to ask the public to come forward if they have any additional information. Uh, we are, uh, have some other uh, loose ends to tie up, but this one offender is being charged. I would also say to the many families who have also lost someone to gun violence in this city, and they are waiting for uh, those responsible to be held accountable. So to the community at large, if you have any information on a homicide case, or gun trafficking for that matter, we ask that you submit tips anonymously through our anonymous tip line by calling 833 408 Zero zero six nine. That's eight three three four zero eight zero zero six nine for a reward of up to fifteen thousand dollars for tips on homicides and five thousand dollars for tips on those involved in gun trafficking. To date, our detectives have cleared three hundred and fifteen homicide cases. That's the most. Over the last 15 years, clearance rates in 2021 range from 44% to 65% across the city, and officers have recovered over 10,500 illegally possessed guns from the hands of many violent offenders. And we're on pace to recover more guns than we have on record in Chicago this year. Chicago cops are doing their job. This case is just one example of the hardworking men and women of the Chicago Police Department and the detectives in particular who worked on this case. And uh, we're going to pass uh, the podium over to Deputy Chief uh, Muhammad, who will give more details of how we uh, solve this case. Rock. Good afternoon. I'll give you a brief uh, timeline of events that led uh, up to today's arrest. On uh, November 9th, at approximately 13.52 hours, the homicide of victim Xiao Zhong Zing at 9.56 East 54th Place occurred on the University of Chicago's campus. While walking home from class, our victim, Mr. Zing, Approach, was approached by an individual now known as 18-year-old Alton Spann. Mr. Spann approached the victim, announced a robbery, shot the victim once in the torso, then took personal belongings, which included electronics from Mr. Zing. At that point, Mr. Spann was observed entering a running black Ford Mustang, which fled westbound on 54th Place. Area detectives recovered video from pods, private cameras, and University of Chicago cameras. Video shows a Mustang driving in the area just before the murder and fleeing. Just We've been now. listening in to the superintendent and other officials here at CPD headquarters as they announced the arrest of an 18-year-old 
in the shooting death, the murder, they say, of Xiaozhang Zhang. They are saying that this man is 18-year-old Alton Span. He is charged with multiple counts of murder, armed robbery, unlawful use of a weapon. Uh, we've been following this since it happened on Tuesday when uh, this young man, 24 years old, was killed near the University of Chicago campus. And we will continue to follow this as we get more information in our subsequent newscasts. Yeah.